New York-based Bitcoin mining company BitDigital says the exit of its mining fleet from China is now complete. A Q&A with the CEO and founder of Amber Group. Singapore-based Mitable has set its sights on becoming the world's largest NFT marketplace. These stories and more here on Crypto. Hi, I'm Jaden from Crypto Gems and here are the latest news on crypto. New York-based Bitcoin mining company BitDigital says the exit of its mining fleet from China is now complete, with all of its miners having arrived in North America. The company started the migration back in October 2020, but accelerated the move after China's clampdown on the sector began earlier this year. By the way, BitDigital was established in 2015. It was formerly known as Golden Bull, with a focus on P2P car rentals in China. But after a clampdown on P2P lending in 2018, it struggled, eventually making a pivot into crypto mining in 2020. Seems like they're kind of used to being big-footed by Chinese regulators. And over in South Korea, the National Tax Service or NTS seemed to be courting controversy by changing the way crypto-related businesses are categorized. Now at the moment, these unregistered firms are categorized as software developers, but the NTS has told local tax offices to reclassify these South Korea businesses as virtual asset operators. And the reason this has upset the industry there is that many of these firms are struggling to comply with the latest crypto regulations in South Korea and can't even get accredited by the government there as licensed crypto businesses. And that could make the road ahead for them essentially untenable, putting them all out of business. Up next is a Q&A with Michael Wu, the CEO and founder of Amber Group. The question is, Bitcoin's Taproot update has finally gone live. What exactly does the update do for the coin and its users? Here is Michael's response. Taproot is very exciting for the Bitcoin community and broadly for the cryptocurrency industry. Uh, f to simplify, you know, it essentially is a major upgrade that will allow better transaction privacy and efficiency on the Bitcoin network. And more importantly, it will then unlock more power for smart contracts uh, on Bitcoin, which means you know, developers can start to build uh, what we call layer two applications. The next question is, how will this update change the way Bitcoin is used in real life then? Do you see this dramatically increasing the uptake on Bitcoin giving its impact on smart contracts? Here is Michael's response. Bitcoin as of right now is recognized both in, within the crypto community and for the broader uh, investor community as mostly a storage of value. You know, digital gold is, is the easiest way to put it probably. However, with that said, we are already entering a, a multi-chain world. Uh, you know, I think there are a lot of protocols that are going to be specialized in different areas of the decentralized economy or the what we call the Web 3.0 economy. In Bitcoin's case, you know, I think the Taproot will enable and unlock some further utility on the network. Meanwhile, Singapore-based Mitable has set its sights on becoming the world's largest NFT marketplace. In a major platform upgrade, it will catalog all NFTs ever minted on Ethereum as well as introducing a new rarity meter feature. Mintable's new rarity meter puts NFTs in categories ranging from common to holy grail according to how unique their attributes make them. Users will also be able to see information on an NFT's transaction history as well as sell reviews. The platform's founder and CEO stated that such information is vital for appraising an NFT's value. You need to be empowered when you're on the page so that you can make an informed decision of like, look, you're some, in some cases, you're spending more money than it costs to buy a car, but you don't get any information, right? And so we want to provide every bit of information we can because you're doing a 20, 50, $100,000 purchase. You need to know everything. Buck says the new features will cut down on the hours of research that both regular traders and new users would have needed to do in the past. And with 20% to 30% of Mintable users being brand new to crypto, he hopes it will be a game changer. But while Mintable currently has 300,000 users, OpenSea dominates the NFT marketplace sector at present, holding a market share of over 90%. If you've enjoyed this video, leave us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click that notification bell, or you can visit our website, CryptoGemsOfficial.com, with new content every day.
so you don't miss a review, news update, or the clearest information about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies anywhere. And those are the latest news on crypto, and I'll see you on the next one.